Uh, thanks everyone for coming. As you can tell, there are a lot of folks um, here with advanced micro devices. We're just uh, here to basically have fun. This is the first time we've done this. This is the first time we've shown off Dragon in public, and uh, we thought we'd have some fun by showing it off to some folks who care. I'm here to see the new chip, see how it runs under normal uh, conditions, uh, how far you can push it. Obviously, interested to see what the Phenoms 2 can, you know, can do. There's a number of different uh, demonstrations with computers that are being overclocked in different ways. There's a, a setup where you can see uh, the result with air cooling, you can see the result with water cooling, you can see what they're doing with liquid nitrogen, which is obviously for fun, but it's, it's cool stuff. Pete's running a, an AMD 790GX platform with an AMD Phenom 2 processor and an ATI Radeon 4870X2 graphics card. We call this AMD Dragon technology. Okay, ready? Here it goes. All right. Okay, there it is. Six gigahertz. I think you've got a little bit more left, right? Yeah, I think we got a little more left. That's 6 1, folks. 6 2. There it is, 6 3. 6-3, everybody. It was very interesting to see how that it, it worked, and uh, the processor was uh, running at uh, quite an awesome frequency. I mean, if you were to supply that at an Intel processor, I think you'd probably fry. Graphics quality looks great. It looks smooth. Uh, in the comparison versus Intel, the average frame rate was about the same, but the minimum frame rate was about twice on the AMD platform as it was on the Intel platform, so that's a huge plus. There was one demo that does compare to the i7 that just recently released by Intel. It was pretty nice to see that it's pretty comparable, and I do agree the price difference is huge. The price and performance, I think AMD definitely wins the game. Thanks again, and we had a great time. We hope you did too. Thanks. <laughs>